Before blowing insulation, it's important to be prepared with all necessary tools and equipment. Proper protective gear and apparel includes hard-soled sturdy shoes, long pants, a long sleeve shirt, gloves, a hat, an approved dust respirator, and protective eyewear. Next, be sure you have all of your equipment. A knife, a staple gun, duct tape, a helmet light, drop cloth, and a small shop vac. Bring along a sturdy step ladder and a broom for cleanup. Don't forget the attic cards and attic rulers. And be sure you have extra baffles on the truck. When you get to the job site, be sure you park where your hose won't be run over by trucks from the other trades. It's also very important to check your job sheet to make sure the truck is loaded with enough bags and fabric for the job. For attic insulation, start by making sure the attic is air sealed. Be sure to block off any openings where insulation can fall into other levels of the house. Look for eaves that go to soffits. Check to see if the bat crew has installed baffles. If not, you must install them. Attic rulers are necessary to help you blow the attic uniformly and are required at time of inspection. Staple the rulers, spacing them evenly throughout the attic. Place one about every 250 square feet and be sure that they face the access hole so an inspector can view them easily in the finished attic. Next, look for recessed lighting fixtures and identify if they are IC rated. If the fixtures are IC type, you can insulate directly over them because they won't overheat. If using a non-IC rated light, use a top hat. Like in the attic, make sure that the walls are also air sealed and you have everything needed for the job. Now you're ready to cover the cavities with fabric. There are two methods, gluing and stapling. Gluing is used for metal studs only. For wood studs, start in the corner and staple across the top plate, about every one and a half to two inches or less. Keep the fabric pulled tight as you go. Staple around the perimeter of windows. Finally, staple across the bottom plate. Use the dotted lines as a guide for hanging the fabric straight from top to bottom. For metal studs, make sure you're using a high quality, fast drying construction adhesive. First, glue the fabric across the top plate, keeping the fabric pulled tight. Then, apply the adhesive to the studs. Again, keeping the fabric tight, use a smoothing tool and bond the netting to the studs. Finally, glue the bottom plate. No matter which method you use, it's very important to end up with fabric that's tight across the stud cavities. If you leave any slack, the insulation will bulge out too far beyond the face of the studs. If this happens, the drywallers won't be able to lay their drywall flush against the studs. Now, you're ready to begin blowing. 